Treatment of neoplasic afferent lens syndrome by endoscopy gastrogenostomy with a lumen opposing middle stand. We present a case of a 65-year-old woman who presented with cholangitis. She was known for pancreatic adenocarcinoma and had undergone a Whipple procedure in the past. The CAT scan showed an afferent limb syndrome due to tumor recurrence. Enteroscopy was unhelpful as we were unable to locate the distal part of the limb. We then proceeded to an endoscopic ultrasound and we located the dilated limb through the gastric wall. Measurements of the limb were taken as we tried to find the best position for puncture. The stent catheter was approached near the gastric wall and the puncture was made with cutting current through the gastric wall and also through the efferent limb. This maneuver is done under EUS guidance. The proximal part of the lumen opposing metal stand was first deployed in the afferent limb. Then the catheter was withdrawn a little bit to wedge that part in the limb and near the gastric wall. The distal part of the stent was then deployed in the working channel of the endoscope. The endoscope was then slowly withdrawn with down maneuver and little bit of torquing to fully deploy the stent. Here's the endoscopic view of the maneuver. We can quickly see dark bile flowing out of the stent. Here's the EUS view of the fully deployed lumen opposing metal stand. The scan a day later showed full patency of the stand with air in the intrahepatic bile ducts. The stand was fully patent a month later on a CAT scan. A gastroscopy showed good positioning of the stent. The patient recovered and was discharged from the hospital three days later. The follow-up a month later showed normal bilirubin and it was decided to leave the stent in place indefinitely and the patient was referred for palliative treatments and care. In conclusion, treatment of neoplasic afferent limb syndrome by endoscopic gastrogygenostomy with a looming opposing metal stent is feasible in selected cases.